Hawkswalkers has been around paper vintage decklists for months now. It's finally on MTGO. Let's give it a shot. Okay, welcome back, Vintage Gamers, Wednesday Night League. We finally have Poxwalkers. This is probably the most playable card from Warhammer 40k for Vintage. Uh, obviously, we've had another league where we played some of the other cards that were, that were pretty good. The, uh, the Infiltrator and the Chaos Defiler. There's also a Scarab Swarm, which seems pretty reasonable. But the card that has seen the most play since it's printing in paper... Uh, multiple Eternal Weekends, uh, Japanese tournaments, uh, basically paper tournaments around the globe, was Poxwalkers. Poxwalkers is a two and a black, three one death toucher. However, Curse of the Pocking Pocking Walks. No, Justin, not like this. Walking Pox. <laughs> Whenever you cast a spell from anywhere other than your hand, so that would be Exile or the Graveyard, uh, return it to the battlefield tapped from the graveyard. So, uh, if you cast a Basking Rootwalla. From Exile with Madness, return Poxwalkers. If you cast a Hogak from your yard, return Poxwalkers. If you cast a Cabal Therapy from your yard, return Poxwalkers. So, uh, powerful card in Bizarre Bad Dead decks. Card decks that are looking to use the graveyard. I think the most natural home for this deck is any deck that can really utilize Cabal Therapy. The big ones that come to mind are Dredge, uh, Hogak, uh, and then tonight we're going to do a little bit of brewing, a little bit of, a little bit of off the beaten path and attempt to play more of a like a mono black Vengevine style deck. Uh, obviously there's a lot of cards in here that are not black, but the only kind of mana we can produce is black mana. Uh, I definitely think that probably the best home might just be Dredge. Bringing back Cabal Therapy Dredge might, might be something that's worth doing. We'll have to see how, um, see how we feel, uh, moving forward. But what I have today is Urborg, Tomb of Yawgmoth. We can cast some Bowmasters and some Hogax. We've got our interaction with Grief in the main, and then Vigors, Null Rods, and Ley Lines in the board. Uh, yeah, so basically a pretty pretty normal looking, if you can, can say that, uh, bizarre deck that makes mana. I would classify this deck as Aggro Vine. It's under the same kind of things as Cradle Vine, Hogak Vine, um, those kind of uh, aggressive Vine decks that do still play mana to cast spells. Uh, yeah, anything else? Anything else? Um, if you sack this to Cabal Therapy from the yard, that will also return Poxwalkers, as sacking is part of the cost. Casting is the trigger that brings back Poxwalkers. That's a pretty normal interaction. Uh, I would love to have, like, more therapies in this deck, more cards, but unfortunately, it's just very hard to fit cards into the, like, the Hollow Vine shell. If you think about it, when you play one of these Hollow Vine decks, right, you're looking at uh, all of these. I would say like half the deck is already decided for you. Like I would say all of these cards are the cards we decided to play. Maybe the maybe maybe the mess up mess up clips right here. So you could say thirty cards in the hollow vine shell are already decided before you even start putting other cards in the deck. And then what you do with your remaining half the deck is is the interesting things. So. It's kind of hard to, like, you just don't have a lot of space to fit um, interesting things into this deck and the style of deck. Uh, but I think we did a pretty good job with this list. I started with uh, Fire Trucks um, on a blacklist and made some changes based on what he said in the Discord. If you haven't already checked out Fire Truck, Fire Truck Moto is going to be a YouTube channel where you can probably find a lot better videos about Bizarre Baghdad than my sh my channel. My channel will, st will still, of course, have Bizarre Baghdad videos, but, uh, more of a dedicated pilot than I. Um, anything else? No. See you in round one. Have you ever wanted to win your own real Black Lotus? The legendary NYSE Vintage Tournament returns this June 22nd on Long Island in New York. 15 proxy high stakes paper vintage action with eight whole pieces of unlimited power as prizes. You are not going to want to miss it. Check out more information in the description below. I hope to see you there. Let's battle. All right, here we go. Round one might be our opponent might be on dredge. Our hand does technically have a black lotus for bowmaster or 
my unit black lotus for vengevine but i think i'd rather just powder this deck is almost certainly looking for a bazaar i'm sure there are some hands you could keep in certain matchups that don't have a bazaar but i would err on the side of mostly mulliganing for bazaar uh i put bazaar in the deck right i, I, I did right I, I, I did right hold on okay i definitely put bazaar in the deck I mulligan seven cards away, and then we've drawn a bunch of seven card hands that have not had a bazaar in it. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, should have kept seven. No, the seven card hand wasn't good. What? The how are we already starting off the night with you saying we should have kept an unkeepable hand? How is that happening? How is, how is that how is that how we're starting the night chess? <laughs> Debating whether to keep double wasteland against possible bizarre opponent here. It's no, it's actually worse. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, like a wasteland, if they're, eh, it's probably still better to go to one. Hey, look, this is their best hand of all seven of all our keeps. This hand is the best. <laughs> uh, too funny. I mean, they already know what deck I'm on, so I, I serum powdered my first hand. All right, this is bizarre. I think I was supposed to keep the double wasteland hand on two cards rather than go to one for the bizarre. It's not good, Jess. What are you talking about? It's not even close to a keepable hand against Dredge. It didn't have a wasteland. Like what? Like what? This is not a good start to the night. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what, what 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 are you basing if it was squee we would have been good like what, what uh, i'm basing the fact that they probably are in dredge because their last posted result is dredge uh, <laughs> like why why would you say they're on squee you have you have no backing to say that <laughs> uh, for what it's worth we were just like never ever winning this game on the draw versus dredge. like this matchup is probably we uh very very bad for game one game two we're looking to try to find ley line we definitely do need a wasteland though so there's like a there's a bot in chat chess that says this league match has started last deck scene dredge <laughs> i'm dying Oh, that's four prize amalgams? Three prize amalgams? I believe we're dead. Fox walkers, value. <sighs> we just don't have enough cards in our yard to actually cast a Hogak, huh? All right, we're just dead on board. Let's just concede. We're not almost, we're pretty close to dead on board. Uh, opponent already knew what deck we were playing based on our powder, so we didn't really need that. Uh, we don't even have that many great cards for the matchup. We've got Ley Lines, uh, and we probably need to bring in Vigors for their Ley Lines slash Hollow Ones, and that's about it. I don't think you breed a, bring in Feed the Swarm for opposing Ley Lines. It doesn't sound right. Uh, Grief looks bad. Grief doesn't seem necessary in the slightest. Therapy doesn't really seem necessary either, though I guess it limits the number of things we can bring in. Uh, a misstep is good because it hits Noxious Revival. I guess we need to find two more cards to cut, or we could just play two Vigors. How how good is our deck at playing through Leyline? Not great. It's probably just two Masters, I think. Swamp? Oh, yeah, I guess we could cut Swamp. What are we going to use a Swamp for? 
Bowmaster? I mean, we're on the play, right? I guess there's like very few lines that give us turn one Bowmaster, so it's kind of useless unless we have a Ley Line. Maybe we'll just go one Bowmaster, one Swamp. Okay, I found a Bazaar in my opening hand, chat. I'm much more powerful this game. No Ley Line, though. Quite the eight power opener, but no wasteland, no ley line, so not the best against dredge. Dun, 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 dun. What is this called? It's called Fox Walkers. Fox Walkers intro. Opponent is still debating whether to keep their hand. They have kept their hand and they have a ley line. Seems bad for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Play some hollow ones, hope it works out. Probably want to keep the Vengevine for a Vigor if we draw it. So, just get a root wall on a hollow one going. I mean, if we don't find a wasteland, like, can we ever really win the game, though? Probably not. Maybe we... Huh. Do I have anything different from, like, a normal vine deck, though? Not really. I mean, we could be playing, like, endurance or something. I don't know. I mean, I'm supposed to keep seven card, like, hollow one stuff right it's just my opponent oh. one dredger one prize amalgam uh, draw oh gag <laughs> our deck is Bad against Leyline, it seems. Hey, look, a Vigor. It's just too late, though, right? Like, what do we even need a Tomb for? We don't care about Bowmaster. Oh, I think we're just dead here. So this is dredge, five, dredge, four, chill, pitch, three. They could still have force blue card, I guess. It's kind of rough. I mean, we can't really afford a double Vigor in this game. We probably just cast one Vigor and hope it works, right? Like, we just will not... We'll simply not have enough cards to do anything powerful. We need this Gak to be in play. Oh. Cool. I mean, we just, like, can't possibly win from here because we don't have Endurance, we don't have Rav Trap, we don't have anything. I had to mold to ley line, I guess. I mean, I didn't even have a wasteland in my opener hand. I don't know. I don't even have noxious revivals. Not that they're like amazing here, anyways, but. This is just like not winnable, huh? Maybe our sideboard is like misconfigured. It feels like if this doesn't feel winnable, then our sideboard is misconfigured. Because I always thought that. Like, obviously, game one was always, like, terrible, but I always felt like games two and three with Agravine versus Bizarre, uh, versus Dredge was favored. But this doesn't feel like it is. <sighs> Come on. 
Yeah, this just feels real bad. I don't... Like, I just, I'm not drawing into anything that can actually win the game here. I'm just completely drawing dead, right? So I had to have a Wasteland in my opening hand. And maybe it was simply a mulligan. My bizarre seven card hand with Hollow One Vengevine was a mulligan? That can't be right. Maybe maybe we do need... I mean, we didn't hit a Ley Line, so it's not like we would have had a, a Ravenous Trap if we had drawn it, right? So it's not like that would have actually helped us. Yeah, I mean, they did have a Ley Line, a Bazaar, and a Wasteland, and Dredgers. True. <laughs> that is true. So really, and Vigor. Interesting. Black Lotus doesn't do anything. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> this person commented on my last video and said, did you know you can use hotkeys to play magic online to play faster so that you don't time out? <laughs> Like, like, like I, like I haven't been playing Magic Online for eight years. <laughs> oh man. God. Yeah, yeah. Me timing out is not something I'm worried about. <laughs> Exclamation mark hotkeys. <sighs> Should we just like not play Bazaar and play Bowmaster instead? Like, we don't have that much value to pitch. Uh, too funny. If anything, I overuse hotkeys, right? Exclamation mark F6. So many misplays. <laughs> Most of the time, the people yell at me because I, I don't use F8 or whatever. Because <laughs> I'm too lazy. <laughs> I just want that. I just want to speed through the turn. Oh, my God. Okay. Trinosphere. I guess at least I put something in play before I got Trinosphered. So... It's fine. I have more mana next turn. I kind of want... Hmm. I think I kind of want to Wasteland them, but I guess we can just cast our spells. <laughs> We're on the beatdown. Mono, mono black cabal pit beatdown. Oh, it's mono white. I see. I see. Okay. Well. I attack all. <laughs> like, that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the game. I'm going to hit attack all. Like, I already use F2 and F6. Like, the only things I can add are, are like, doing more, um, more OKs and, like, auto-yielding to triggers, which I already do anyways. Like, I, I don't understand. <laughs> um. Oh. 
So this, this, and this. I didn't hit. I didn't hit a land. Hmm. I, I I'm not worried about like I'm not worried about timing out. That's not a thing I ever worry about. Chat. <laughs> I like these stops. I have good muscle memory on these stops. Oh shit. Why Cabal here? Any consideration for Wasteland? Yeah, I considered Wasteland, and I chose not the Wasteland. I chose to play a creature and attack. Like, like, why? Like, oh, you don't know they're on Mono White either. Like, they could have been on Shops, and Wastelanding them just... Wastelanding means I don't get to Wasteland their Urza Saga. I think, like, playing Wasteland there is terrible. You want to turn one on the dark. What are you, what are you talking about? Oh, you mean instead of playing my Cabal Pit out, play a Wasteland out? Does that matter? What what are you what are you trying to play around? Waste Bazaar on turn two. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I can't activate my Bazaar anymore, huh? Wait, so we just lose it? I mean, we're just like on Mana Crypt or our bust. My opponent played Mono White today. Uh, yeah. Sure. Doesn't mean they're on Mono White. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know, chat. It's it's already, like, a really rough stream tonight. Like, uh, I, don't, I, I don't know if I can do a whole stream like this. I'm not feeling it. All right, we're just dead, right? I'm like a little tilted about this whole hot key thing. Like, <laughs> like the problem is not like eking out 20 seconds more with like slightly better hot key uses. It's, it's not it's not spending six minutes discussing a line with for chat. Like, how do people not see that? Like, <laughs> uh, I don't know. All right, well, we got three balled and then wastelanded. Uh, I could have probably played the game better, but I was, like, so not focused on the game in any capacity, huh? It's pretty bad. <sighs> what? What? Uh what? Uh -oh. Bring in vigor for Chrome Box. I just had to read that. I actually just had to read that. No, I like I like answering my YouTube comments. My YouTube comments are generally awesome. Can't return all of these venge vines. It's probably just two venge vines and a root walla, and then grief trigger my two venge vines. Hands great. You got it. The elementals have taken over Magic the Gathering. Oh. <laughs> My opponent spent four cards 
<laughs> to kill my two, two creatures that I paid zero mana for. <laughs> and, like, not actually... I didn't even, like... Uh, I, I can't even, like, stress how many... Like, I don't even know how many cards it costs for me to play this Vengevine, but, like... <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they have a Wasteland, I'm definitely losing. They don't. Activate. Wasteland is so lame. <laughs> uh, I I mean, have we won? We're not doing anything powerful. Like, if our opponent plays an initiative creature here, have we actually won? Like, I'm not actually convinced that's the case. I'm going to wait one turn on this bazaar, because if I activate now, I can't even bring back my Vengevine unless I hit a Rootwalla for sure. And then I also lose my second bazaar if they Wasteland me. Off-color Moxie. All right. Well, now I'm going to definitely activate my bazaar and keep two Hollow Ones. And trigger Vengevine. Mm -mm 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 All right, cool. My game win. I mean, I, I don't really think, like, round one was a lot, like, anything to do with, like, what we were doing. It's just that we, I don't think the cards we had were the right cards, right? Oh, another seven card was our hand. It's an interesting one. Wasteland is broken. <laughs> uh, Thalia? No, just Cavernec Emerald Go. Could just be Containment Priest, I guess. But, like, realistically, do we care? Don't think so. I guess we can theoretically play around Containment Priest. <sighs> what about Wasteland? What about Activate Bazaar? Yeah, we're not going to make it through a stream, are we? So, what I can do is I can go master, master. Well, I can never kill. A, I mean, I, I, it's like impossible for me to kill. Oh, no, I have a feed this worm. So, what I can do is I can go master, master, vengevine. And then I can grief my opponent for the first one. And it still doesn't actually do it. Yeah, let me just let me just bowmaster ping the two toughness containment priest. That that'll do it. That'll definitely do it. I think what I'll do is I'll just go master master vengevine, and then we'll just play out the black lotus. And then if they want to end a turn a containment priest, it's fine. And then we just wait. Like we can just. Oh, I guess we have Bone Mat. Oh, I don't have another black card, though. So I can't cast a second spell. I think we're just going to wait. No, I, I think we just wait. Like, we can still trigger this Vengevine. We're about to get two Master of Deaths back to pitch to Grief. 
pretty sure this is just fine. We grief pitch master. If they have a containment priest, they play it. We feed the swarm it, and then we cast our bow master and return to venge mine. I don't, I don't mean this. I think the way we did this is fine. All right. See, so they play the they play the containment priest, which is fine, and then we grief their hand, and we take the archon. And then we feed on this. And we play Wasteland Bowmaster. And then next turn we Wasteland them. Well, the Archon is the spell they can cast for three mana. So, yes. Like, it blocks my two one ones. We're trying to tempo them out of this game. And we win. All right, here we go. Round three now. We're up against Phantom Man. Typically on Oath. Uh, I, I, I infected poor Phantom Man with the Oath uh, bug here. Uh, powder. Ooh, keep. Our deck is not going to be very good against uh, Oath on the... Uh... Library? I don't think Library is going to see play. If anything, it would see play right now in like those Luris decks, right? What's another, what's another colorless land between friends? Oh, it's Dredge. Sick. <laughs> After we determined, our deck is not good against Dredge. <laughs> Uh, how many dredgers? Two. If we draw a wasteland, maybe we don't concede. I feel like we should just concede. Like, how can we ever win this game, right? Like, we needed to have a wasteland on this turn. I feel like we just can't, right? One, two, three... That's true. Let's just let's grief pitch Bowmaster. I like the way you think. Negation chill chill shell. Alright. I concede. Oh, we did serum powder. God damn it. <laughs> All right, uh, Ley Lines and Vigors come in. I guess we do need to play Feed the Swarm, right? Because our deck can't beat a Ley Line, it seems. Uh, wait, I, I just don't know how we're ever going to win the matchup in general. Like, how, how are we supposed to, to win? <laughs> I guess we have to mulligan more aggressively for Ley Line. Our Bowmaster's really bad. I guess if, like, we have a Ley Line, we're already winning. And they're only good if we have a Ley Line. I guess they're pretty bad. Uh, half. Oh, it actually looks like a good size. I think we didn't, we didn't, we didn't break it. That's good. The download went okay, so hopefully we don't lose round two. Oxwalkers two. Drag that in here. Okay. I'm a mess right now. On the play, I have a Leyline and a Bazaar, yes? No Leyline, but I do have a Wasteland, so gotta be a keep. I mean, there were, like, a lot of actions for what it's worth in that round one. But I also, like, did spend a couple minutes on a couple decisions that I could not have spent a couple minutes on. Another ley line, seven, open, six card ley line hand? Not good. Uh...
I guess we just pitch serum powder, pitch Ruwala and pitch master. So we just lose a master here and then we get to put five power in play and then Yeah, I mean I think this can win, but like our hands not having Leyline have been pretty problematic, right? Oh, they have their own wasteland first. We need to play out our wasteland, right? In case we want to feed the swarm. Like, this exposes to a second wasteland, but I feel like we're supposed to play it out. So I can... Uh... One dredger. That's not bad. They did their one dredge and they hit a narc amoeba bringing back two prized amalgams. Well. It's not great. They did not have a follow-up, though, so that's good. At some point, they'll pitch to hand size, though. Guess this block would be bad. Attack would be bad, so F6. Another Bazaar? I don't think I'm good enough to play Bazaar. I think that's what I've determined. wonder why I dropped frames in the beginning of the stream. So weird. Did draw the vigor though. Definitely gonna upkeep a vigor here. I'm gonna pitch Venge Vine, I guess. I'm not sure. I <laughs> got forced. Okay. Oh, I think Dredge is either the best or second best deck in the format, and it certainly has the numbers to to prove it. They hit a Golgari Grave Troll. We drew our Bazaar. But our Bazaar is a lot worse. Uh, I mean, we're still activating, right? Leyline's dead. We probably don't need two feeds. I mean, eventually we lose this. I guess this technically this great this grave troll is their last dredger in yarn, so they could theoretically miss. <laughs> All right, they hit a narc amoeba, a second Icarid, three stinkweed imps, and a thug. So they didn't miss another hollow one. Okay. I guess theoretically, if we had kept that first root walla, we may be able to get up to seven creatures in play to play a Hogak. The problem is I can't even attack, right? Because like these amalgams, they double block. I put one in the yard, I lose my hollow one, and it comes back with the Icarid on the next turn anyways. So like, I'm not actually making any progress. Like theoretically, we could draw a... <laughs> 
Uh, I'd like to not be paired against Bizarre. Or Dredge, at least. All right, here we go. Round something. Round mental damage. Round four. No Bizarre. Mulligan. No Bizarre. Mulligan. No Bizarre. Mulligan. No Bizarre. Mulligan. Powder. Keep Master Vengevine Tomb Master? I don't know. No Bizarre Mulligan? Powder? Yo, I, I, I'm not having fun. Hey, anyone? 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 Something? I, I, how is, how, how is, how is this a 0.1% if it's happened twice? I'm, I'm just putting all my good cards on the bottom too. <laughs> it's another dredge player. <laughs> it's okay. I wasn't winning the game anyways. It's fine. I was already, I'm already oh wait, squee. Hey, Poxwalkers. Oh, it's it's too late though, man. It's too late though. <laughs> no, 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 give me out, give me out, give me out. <laughs> There's so, everyone is so much better than me. I'm retiring. I'm retiring. I'm retiring. I I'm gonna go play Popper. Just kidding. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. It's okay. We we should be favored in the matchup. We have Bowmasters, right? I feel like we should be favored in this matchup for sure. Bowmasters are actually good here, huh? What do we take out if we think Bowmasters are good? I don't want to take out Feed the Swarm, because, like, Bowmasters are definitely good here. Maybe we just trim some Masters, because they're going to play Ley Lines and Wastelands. Yeah. Yeah, submit. I wouldn't wish playing Legacy on my worst enemy, either. I mean, if I have a Leyline Wasteland hand with no Bazaar, I will keep. This is this is a beautiful example of why I leave the playing Bazaar of Baghdad to Fire Shoes. Why did I say Fire Shoes? Fire Truck. Fire Shoes does not play Bazaar of Baghdad, but he could. <laughs> He could. Known unlucky gamer. Fire shoes is the goat. That's a great first message. Good job, Ox. I appreciate that. Good first message. Wait, do we have do we have Chad? What is the what is the thing? There's a there's a Chad thing for it. Chad first. Do I have that? I feel like I do. There it is. First time chatter. Okay, I got a bazaar and a wasteland. 
Am I coming to Four Seasons? No, I, I'm not attending Four Seasons next weekend or this weekend. Um, my plan is I'm trying to save up a bunch of paid time off of work so I could make a big Eternal weekend trip at the end of the year. Um, I'd like to be able to do all three Eternal weekends: uh, Europe, Japan, and the States. So that's my that's my plan. All right, I will activate my Bazaar of Baghdad, and I am going to pitch one, two, three lizards. The maximum amount of lizard value. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It, it should say, it should say. Account created 2012, following since 2022. That's a two-year lurk. Not bad. It's a, it's a, that's a long lurk, for sure. All right. I have established that I am the lizard king. Fear me. I'll see what opponents got. Urborg might have some side effects in this matchup. Let's see. I get F6. Using my hotkeys to the fullest. Hawkswalkers times two. Hollow one Vengevine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This blocks my entire lizard army. Isn't that a little unreasonable? Activate Bazaar. Hawkswalker's Lizard. I guess I want to keep a second Bazaar, so. This seems like a, a wild mirror match, doesn't it? Like, we're going to have so many creatures happening with neither of us have ley lines. Do I just swing anyways? Like, is it is it bad if I lose a lizard? It's kind of bad if I lose a lizard, right? Because I have Hogax in my deck. I'm getting in two damage, but is it really worth it? No. Also, lizards trade with Poxwalkers. Is this a Noxious Revival? Oh, it's a Vigor on my Hollow one. We did that after combat? Interesting. Maybe they were expecting another Hollow One post combat. They were trying to play around that. That's fair. I don't mind that. Four life for the ability to maybe hit a second Hollow One. Could be game changing. Second Bizarre. That could be bad for me if they bring back these Poxwalkers and, and Vengevines. Oh no. No. No, I'm dying. How do they have two Bazaars? That's broken. All right, they didn't bring back the Vengevine, though. So that's nice. Leyline of the Void. I could theoretically cast that. All right, so on this current board, it's a stalemate, right? So I could simply not activate Bazaar anymore. Nah, let's just cast this Shaggy Bazaar. Vigor. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we have the Orborg turning the Bazaars into to swamps, right? All right. So this board is a stalemate until I find a Hogak. But I'm probably the only. I, I think I'm the player with a Hogak in their deck, whereas they probably don't have a Hogak in their deck. I'm going to make an assumption. So I feel like we're advantaged here. Oh, they're going to come in. We're coming in. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to trade red lizards for poxwalkers. That feels like a play I'm willing to make. Wasteland. Okay, so they were trying to trying to get me. I see that. That's fine. I got I got another one. Okay, I I definitely Oh my god, we have freaking bowmaster in this matchup. That's nuts. They have one card left in hand. This feels good. Oh, they're getting in. They're getting rowdy. I like that. I like an opponent that gets rowdy. No, you can't be real. 
No way. All right, they didn't hit. They drew the third bizarre in 23 cards. It's okay. We resolved off Bowmaster, which has got to be game winning, right? I'm pretty sure this Bowmaster is game winning. Oh, you, you, you brought it back a squee and drew fury for turn. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Like, like, like this is they're not drawing the best card in their deck at every point. It's 100% correct to sorcery speed it. What are you talking about? That's the correct play. They would just sit and do nothing and then I, what like what? It's better if I just, like, discard the hollow one, right? Or no? Like, it's better if I have two bizarres, right? The downside of not doing it sorcery speed? They can just hold and, like, make bad timing windows. I, oh, there was also, there was a Poxwalkers blocking my attack. So I killed, or sorry, there was a, there was a root wall of blocking my Poxwalker's attack. So if I, like, it was definitely correct. I made the correct play. I can't return this Vendrine, right? So I'm just going to pitch everything here and then play another Bazaar. Then we get double activations and upkeep. They get an upkeep activation. They hit another squee. I think the four life matters. All right, upkeep activation, Foxwalker's Vigor, upkeep activation, Vengevine Swamp. Raw ley line? That was really bad. I did cut two Master of Deaths, right? But also, I've seen two of my five Wastelands in 27 cards. I guess it's like who returns their Poxwalkers first wins. That is not... I mean, I have two Bazaars. I should be able to find a Root Waller, right? One root walla. I've lost half of my root wallas. Pyrokinesis. Squee master. Chat. I could cast Leyline here. I don't actually think casting Leyline here does anything for me, though. Like, I take another four, they still get back Squeeze, they still get back Pox, well, it doesn't do anything. If it exiled the whole yard like a Rest in Peace, then it would be good. Alright, I definitely think I am going to Wasteland. And I still think I should activate now in case I draw a... I guess I can activate on their turn. Well, I guess I, if I hit double Root Walla... That would give me Venge Vines, so it's definitely worth it to activate now. Hollow One Hogak. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. They have Noxious Revival. Like, haven't I drawn worst every turn, and my opponent has drawn best every turn? 
Tell me I'm tell me tell me I'm lying. Am I lying? There's no way I'm li I'm not lying, right? Like, I haven't played badly. I feel like my plays have been fine. They hit the they hit a root wallow before me. I'm drawing twice as many cards. I'm dead. I don't even win with my Venge Vines. Oh no, I do win with my Venge Vines. So if I hit double root walla, I would win. But if I don't, I just lose. I'm dead on board. If I draw a Bowmaster for turn, am I supposed to? I might be supposed to activate one Bazaar in my upkeep so I can draw Bowmaster. I think it's a. I think it's one Bazaar, not two Bazaars in upkeep. I hit a root walla. I hit a root walla. Big, big, big. But is it too late? Okay, so I think we draw, and then if we don't hit a Bowmaster, then we just activate again. That means I can't draw a hollow one, but I only have one hollow one left, and I have three Bowmasters left. Okay, draw. All right, so now I have to hit a root walla or I lose. Oh, I guess I could cast this for one. I could cast it for one. Okay, I need to hit a root walla or I lose. <laughs> How is this deserved? This is so... <sighs> it's so messed up, isn't it? Like, it's so, it's so messed up. Alright, fifth and final round with this deck. I have, oh, seven card Bizarre Hand. Taking it so... I mean, we should be super favored in the Countervine matchup, right? Like, that's got to be our single best matchup. I feel like Countervine is our, be is our best matchup by, like, a large amount, right? Yeah, I don't really think it's that bad. I mean, this is one pox walkers, one powder, one root walla. Pox walkers seems pretty good, though. For what it's worth. Like, so far, the card itself looks pretty good. It's really easy to return. And it's a 3-1 death touch. We're just... We're just raw mana crypt... Mana crypt tinker? Turn one? Yeah? Guess we're going twisties. 
I guess I'll play out this jet if we're going to go twisties. Watery Grave. That means it's Beseech, Beseech the Mirror. I haven't seen a Beseech deck in a while. I mean, we took away the Tinker, so I think we're actually fine. No, I don't think taking Crypt is better. I think, like, refilling our 7s is better. Like, they play a Mana Crypt out, it's good for our clock. They play a Watery Grave out, it's good for our clock. They spend the whole turn casting Time Twister. And then we draw a new 7. I think that's better for me. Could be, I could be wrong, but I feel like it's good. That's a lot of Moxon. Maybe. I mean, I, I don't think taking a Crip is bad there, for what it's worth. I'm not really saying that that's a bad play. This is a lot of Lizards. Could really use a way to cast the Grief. I didn't draw a single black card in the 10 cards that are in my hand. Hmm. Huh. It's not great. I guess I did draw a single black card before someone says anything. I just didn't draw a black card for my grief. I mean, we're hitting them for 8 here. They're going to 10, which puts them pretty lethal. What's the likelihood that they're... I mean, yeah. I mean, maybe Mana Crypt's better. I could... I could... I could... Uh, I, could uh, I could see Mana Crypt being better. I just, like, wasn't super upset with the idea of twisting there. Like, I had a jet in play. So, like, I could go Bowmaster as well. I don't know. I have lethal on the table, even though they survived a mana crypt as well. So they do have to kill me here. I guess it's probably not that hard. Yeah, I guess I should have taken the crypt. Uh, I'm not sure. I think maybe it's just a misplay. I don't know about like. It wasn't like the worst hand, right? Like we had a we had a wasteland, we had a grief, we have more power to make lethal. Like it wasn't it wasn't a terrible seven. Like it definitely could have been a better seven, but yeah, I was probably just supposed to take mana crypt. I guess I risked it for the biscuit, and then I lost because of it. This is just Beseech for a lethal. Yep. Beseech, Beseech, Beseech. Tendrils kill me. I mean, my opponent, like, had to hit a hit a Lotus exactly there, right? Or they had to hit, like, Jet, Dark Ritual. I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's my fault, probably. I'm probably just supposed to take Mana Crypt. We're dead. We're, just, we're deterministically dead. Yeah, I mean, I, I think maybe I just, like, thought about it from, like, a Countervine perspective more than a Poxwalker's perspective, where, like, if I'm given a new grip, I'm given, like, forces and mind break traps and stuff, and whereas here, I'm given nothing, right? I mean, not nothing. Like, I can get Grief and I can get Wasteland, but, like, it's just Grief and Wasteland, because Poxwalker's is... I mean, Bowmaster... Yeah, Bowmaster's, like, just not really doing it. I mean, I have Cabal Therapy, so I have six... Six... Fifth, I have, like, 11 good cards, I would say. All right, well, here it's, like, a pretty easy bring in every magic card in our sideboard. How do we do that? I feel like we just, like, take out Gak, Bowmaster. A, a Swamp. Like a Ball Pit. A ball pit like just like 
play Bizarre deck and like you know well I kind of need these for cast the Null Rod, huh? So I guess maybe not take out all these. No, I don't think we can cast or I don't think we can cut Orborg if we're trying to cast Null Rod, right? Doesn't sound right. It's probably just like one Master, one Cabal Pit or something. Master? Yeah, I mean, I trimmed a master. But, like, you do need, like, some out of masters to, like, recover here. Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't need to recover. Maybe recovering is for garbage. But then we're, like, actually hitting the levels of black cards that are really bad. Like, we need to keep these black, like, these masters in for black cards, right? Like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 13. Like, it's hard to cast grief. Red Lizard. Can you cut Red Lizard? Is that fair? Are we allowed to do that? I don't like know how important that is to like cast getting Poxwalkers back, getting Vengevines back. Oh, I lose half my hollow ones and half my Vengevines. Sick powder. Into grief. Pitching grief. Do I have Mind Break Traps? Did I not bring in the Mind Break Trap? I have a Mind Break Trap. I just, like, can't fit. Like, like there's a lot of cards you want to play, but you, like, can't fit them all. You only have 60 cards, right? So... Uh, I don't get to put down a threat with this hand at all, right? It's probably just not enough. Well, this one's pretty good, though. I have a mental misstep and an old rod and a vigor, kind of. This hand looks and a, and a grief. I guess I just keep this hand and I bottom the one I don't have a piece of and then I. We go with this. Yeah, I mean, I think I just, like, should have taken the Crypt. Like, obviously, they can high roll out of the out with no Crypt, but I don't know. I just, like, overestimated how good Twister would be for me. I thought, like, attacking for 10 and them having a Mana Crypt and having a fresh 7 would be... would be good. Is it ever Double Grief Play Hollow One? What, double Grief Play Hollow One? How do we... How do we do that? I don't understand. Yeah, I mean, it's like 1230 for you as well, so. Opponent's on a mole to five at the moment. Good night. Yeah, I, like that's pretty true too. Like if we just like untap and grief our opponent, we're probably winning as well. Like they're taking a fresh card, fresh hand with. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, like I put myself in the position to get unlucky though, right? 
Wait, why? Oh, I am on the play. Uh, yeah, I guess I activate first, right? Maybe I don't. Oh, I certainly do. Can I get away with, um, can I get away with both my walkers here? Or is that like super greedy? The greediest greedy? I would like not be able to grief, but I have mental mist up and this gives me four, this gives me lethal power in two attacks. I'm on the play because I lost. Yes, I, I agree with your statement. I mean, I think this play has merit, right? Because I'm putting in a two attack lethal. Like I'm missing out on one on turn one grief, but I can still maybe grief a second turn, especially with like a, a mental misstep coming to like slow them down. I feel like this made sense in my head, so we're going to go with it. Well, we haven't cast any Cabal Therapies this game, huh? Or this tournament. Wait a second. No, I mold that. I, I, uh, I, I, uh, I forgot to, uh, no, I didn't forget to. I, I boarded uh, Therapy out against Squee, which is probably right, so. Talarian Academy. Turn one Tinker. Companion Mana Crypt. Ancestral Recall. This is not the card you were looking for. No! Okay. They pitched a Sinks of the Steel in, so. Small victories. My Null Rod is less good if they have a Catalarian Academy as well. Up to three cards. We're probably just supposed to activate. Oh. Oh my. Get him. All right, now we're actually drawing well. Who 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 allowed this change? This is how a normal bizarre deck draws: just draw the best cards every turn instead of drawing the worst cards every turn. <laughs> I'm the bizarre player now, opponent. You fool! Ah. <gasps> Grief triggering Venge Vine is pretty sweet, huh? Poxwalkers are victims of the walking pox, a cruel virulence which rots the infected to death while keeping them conscious. Well, that sounds terrible. Basking Rootwalla is a lizard. Basically the same. Uh, submit. I can't believe we had mental misstep for ancestral recall, and it kind of worked. What we got? What we got? We got oh another mental misstep. I, I think this hand's a keep. This this is a, not a bizarre hand, but I think in this this is the kind of scenario that uh that aggro vine gets to keep these kind of hands like you're playing against the combo deck you have some anti-combo pieces some lands to cast spells i like this we've got two two interactive elements we can play a null rod on turn two and then maybe we can just cast walkers and attack you don't like th what this is a snap keep against 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 beseech this is a snap keep Look at that! Look at that! Oh! I'm so good. I'm not as bad as the 1-3 record suggests, I swear. I think I just let this go. I don't think I care about that card. No Saga? No Blue Land? 
I think my keep was totally right. Oh, I like that. We got a backup null rod. I like where we're at in life. This looks good to me. I guess my opponent can draw land tinker here. That's like the downside of not vigoring. Should we just vigor? We can just vigor Ruby Leyline. So that we don't get tinkered. And we have a wasteland that covers a wasteland and Nuggle Rod covers Saga. Like the only way we lose this game is Tinker, right? I just like really bad to vigor a Moxin when you have double Null Rod in hand, right? Mm. I cannot hit the Tinker target. They have a Sphinx of the Steel Wind. probe i'm willing to not let them draw a card all right they did not have tinker it just feels really really bad to vigor moxen when you're gonna null rob them here Especially when you want to like keep as many answers to Saga as possible. Oh. I can't say that I expected that. God, I'm so happy I didn't keep a hand with Bizarre of Baghdad. My opponent had Leyline, Holebreacher, Soul Guide Lantern. <laughs> if I had kept a Bizarre hand, I would instantly lose. I do need to hit another land to cast my Poxwalkers, but... It's only better if I draw a land. <laughs> No, I cut Bowmaster. Should I try to pitch to hand size? Feels like bad, but I don't think a third Null Rod does anything, so. Watch them just like force the Pox Walkers when I finally get to cast it and we lose. I mean. Theoretically, we even if we draw Bazaar, we could still use Bazaar. All right, we drew a strip mine. Hopefully, this Coxwalker's resolves. It does resolve. Okay, now I think we're in a much better spot. I kind of want them to play a Saga so I can go Vigor on Saga Leyline. This has been like the best match of the whole league. Why is the fifth match the best match of the whole league? It's Lorien revealed. Yeah, that's why I figured. Yeah, exactly. Treasures are dead. I'm probably going to have to strip mine the, uh, at least wasteland them once here. Mine working trap. Don't really want them getting to tinker mana. I just don't think we're looking to pitch root wall as the hand size. I think I'm just going to play the third null rod out. Find it kind of funny. 
If they ever do attack, I could Vigor before damage and then get that going in my yard as well. Breathe. <laughs> okay. There. All right. All right. Next turn, we can pitch a little red root wall to hand size. I have two moxin in my deck, so it makes sense that I would draw it. This is a definitely a game of Magic: The Gathering. I would like if I get two root wallas in play, that does block a whole breacher as well. I did not board and feed the swarm, so I can't actually remove this whole breacher. I don't think that matters that much though. Hollow one. I'm not gonna attack yet until I know that I have two lizards resolving. Well, I can't get threshold yet because there's a ley line in play, but you are right. At some point I can get threshold and a black mana. No. I don't think I do. Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual. Oh, maybe I did want to strip mine them. Siege, I assume. I mean, I have to hope they don't have a forest and we just trap them. Oh, Tinker. Yeah, I guess maybe I should have stripped mine them. I don't know. I, I was still like thinking about casting spells, but. I'm also still like super worried about Saga, but I guess strip mining a C does technically help with Saga. Warborg. Oh, I guess I can cycle Hollow One too. Could I have done that at end of turn? Or yeah, it's not in play, so it's I can still activate it, right? Probably supposed to vigor them at some point here as well, so I can start building out a graveyard. Probably was supposed to do it earlier. Oh, they've been holding a tabernacle the whole time. Oh, right. Cycling a hollow one would be bad. Agreed. Uh, I mean, they, they just lose their whole breacher like this, don't they? Oh, no, because we gave them an Orborg. No, they get to pay for their whole breacher. No. All right, I need to start building a graveyard out. So I can kill this whole Reacher at some point. No, they forced it. They didn't have a force for the Tinker, but they have a force now. 
Ah, shit. Wait, why am I... Why did I, I just take a damage from that? <sighs> did not mean to take a damage from that. For anyone keeping track at home. Oh, I was at five? Okay. Why was I at five? Mm, we just paid for their whole breacher. Sag. I played this game kind of bad, though, didn't I? I don't know. I was, like, super worried about Saga, so I, like, played around Saga the whole game. I guess I could grief them. I feel like it doesn't help me. This Orborg has so many downsides, it feels like, huh? Can't even get the second one in play without drawing another land. I don't feel very good about this game anymore. Also, I give them black mana to Dark Ritual with this Orborg. <laughs> ah. I don't even want to put a root wall on play. Kind of need a green for a vigor, right? Should we just therapy targeting them for something? Um, uh, beseeches, I assume. Well, no, I think I'd rather just hold on to the grief. Oh my god. They literally have had Dark Ritual. Yogg will, but they... Wait, why didn't they do this? Didn't they just have Lethal? Oh, they've been paying for their whole Breacher. Why? They have an Underground Sea. Is it not enough? I guess they don't have Tinker anymore. They go Underground Sea, Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, Demonic. I mean, I feel like it's enough. Triple Mox, more than Triple Mox. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they had lethal. Maybe they drew one of the pieces this turn. Maybe, like, maybe they drew the Yogwill this turn. Uh, I feel like I have to grief my opponent, though. And take away Yogg. I mean, I feel like their deck doesn't do very much anymore, though. Like, they don't have Tinker. They don't have Yogg Kill. I, I mean, they still have Saga, right? I still lose to Saga here. 
I think I maybe I just should have vigored this ley line way earlier in the game. Wouldn't we win this game if we had ley line killed the ley line earlier? I just like wanted to have as many ways to beat Saga as possible. I guess I also like didn't have to wasteland the underground sea, but then they would have cast ancestral. So, I mean, there's certainly downsides there as well. All right, like, what's our best draw? I mean, Bazaar is still good, right? Like, I discard three cards and then play some hollow ones. Like, if I ever draw Bazaar, I just activate it, discard three cards, and play hollows. Wasteland is obviously great, yeah. All right, so is it better to wasteland my Orborg or to waste or just wasteland their tabernacle or like do we need to kill Breacher though? Like, I guess that's probably best. They were only at 10, so. Start cycling our hollow ones. Ooh, I think we are not allowed to play a new Orborg now. But this saga is really bad for them, isn't it? Like, playing a saga right now is really, really bad for them. I guess, theoretically, if they hit a land, they can Dark Ritual into a Construct. Oh, I had to pay- I have to pay a life every time! Ah. Uh... So I attack, they go to seven, I go to three, they go to four, I go to two, they go to one, I go to one, they die? What a wild match. We can't pay for Lizard, because I don't think we're supposed to put this Orborg in play. I think it's worse. Like, giving them the ability to Dark Ritual Demonic just seems bad. Got him. Oh, we had to fight very hard to do the magic. <sighs> Holy moly. Uh, so this deck. I don't feel like it was structurally, like conceptually unplayable. It definitely had merit. I think we just need to rearrange our sideboard for dredge, probably. Um... Yeah, like I I think it was a mixture of some really unlucky magic, some some minor missequencings and some structural sideboarding issues for dread for dredge, right? The thing is, I don't know like if you want to beat dredge, leyline is worse than rav trap. 
But Leyline's a lot better than Rav Trap against Counter Vine, which we also lost to. Yo, GG's, what a wild, what a wild one, huh? That was a, that was a crazy match. Crazy. I should have just taken your mana crypt, I guess, in game one. I just thought I'd be okay. Ooh, man, it was weird. Yeah, I, I I wouldn't like write off this deck construction immediately. Though the Orborgs were better for our opponents than they were for us. But I feel like you need the Orborg to cast like the the Orcish Bowmaster off of the Bazaar of Baghdad, so I feel like it's a necessary evil. We didn't get to use therapy that much. I don't know. I do think that the Poxwalkers themselves looked good. And they came in really easily off of Rootwalla. So, like... And we haven't paired against Luris, which is probably one of our better matchups. True. Yeah, I don't know. The Poxwalkers themselves look good as a card, though. I feel like that's a good point. And, like, you can play this card in other decks. You can play it in a more countervine looking deck. You can play it in Dredge. So, did you what did you draw for turn there? Because you had deterministic lethal, right? When I looked at your hand, I came up with a lethal tendrils, I think. Uh, so I assume you must have drawn like a Yog Will or, or a Dark Ritual or a DT for turn, and like you could have just like not paid for whole Reacher and killed us, right? Not sure. But yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. Poxwalkers, I think, got my seal of approval. This card definitely looks good. I just don't know what the right shelf for it is yet, and we're going to have to keep experimenting. Uh, I don't know how much more experimenting I will do, as I took massive amounts of psychic damage. You would know that if you made it all the way to the end of this this video. Um, so I might let uh, Firetruck is experimenting with Poxwalkers. Also, legendary deck builder Zeus. I saw Zeus had bought some Poxwalkers on Twitter, so Twitter, maybe Zeus will come up with a nice Poxwalkers brew as well. Uh, but for that is going to be probably the last time I play it, maybe for a little while. <laughs> but we'll get more vintage content on this YouTube channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll see you then.